In this video, we're going to talk about the perfect macros. No, we're not. We're going to talk about how to calculate your own macros. Yeah. There's no perfect macros. No, no. Calories, protein, fats, carbohydrates. This angle's not great. Like, this I look one? a bit weird, don't I? Sat down yeah, like, a bit that. like a hunchback. I do, don't I? <laughs> yeah, all right. Step one. Step one. Set your calories. How do you do that? Don't go off what my fitness pal says when you put your weight in. I know that so for a fact. Fucking loads of people do that. Oh, my <laughs> fitness pal tells me to eat, to eat two thousand. Don't do that. Don't listen to it. No, it doesn't know anything about you. It doesn't know anything about your food diary, what you've eaten for weeks on end. It just takes a random. So what? Dark. What we would do is we would track your calories for a week or two weeks. I know it sounds like a long, drawn-out process, but it's the most efficient way. Track your weight over that time. Yeah. If you've maintained weight, you know that that average amount of calories is your maintenance. If you've lost weight, you know that you're in a deficit. If you've gained weight, you know that you're in a surplus with that amount. You can then change your calories in accordance to what you want to do. So if you want to lose weight, you would set yourself up in a deficit. If you want to lose weight quicker, more of a deficit, but provided that you can stick to that deficit. So when people talk about a deficit, like you hear that a lot, oh, calorie deficit, mate, and all that. And basically, once you've got those maintenance calories, the deficit is just you would just go under that amount of calories. So if you track your weight for two weeks and you maintained weight on 2,000 calories, you would drop to say 1,700 calories, and that would be a 300 calorie deficit. How to set protein next? Where do you set protein, mate? I don't know, you're still on the curb, though. I'm definitely this tall in real life. Yeah. I don't know what you're on about. So you set your protein at between two to three grams per kilo of body weight. Yes. If your average that you've just taken across the week, you'll see whether you'd like protein or you potentially need to get that up. And then that might play a difference in where you're gonna say. If you don't particularly um, enjoy your protein sources, you might go on the higher end of that scale. Yep. If you find it hard to get a lot of protein in, go aim for the lower end and that's fine. Yep. And if you are dieting, just remember that protein is quite satiating, which means it helps you feel fuller for a little bit longer. So it's probably better to stick on the slightly higher end of that number than the lower end, uh, especially when it comes to dieting. It's also you, pre you preserve muscle mass a little bit better um, and like I said for hunger it's pretty useful. It's one, of the it's one of the most common things that I see with clients who come through with their initial assessment week that their yeah. protein is usually quite low or, or quite sporadic yeah. so you need to be making sure that you're hitting a decent amount that's split up throughout the day um, and that way you're going to ensure that when you're losing weight you're going to be maintaining the muscle that you've got and, and hoping for that hopefully athletic looking physique that you, that, that you desire right rather than just losing weight and being almost like a smaller version of yourself because you've not retained that muscle mass. Yeah, you need to keep that muscle mass. So, step two then is how to set your fats. Fats. Setting your fats. So why do we set our fats before our carbs, mate? Um, because it's important to have a basal amount of fats within your diet to support hormone function. Ooh, big words. Yeah, hormones. No, it genuinely is. You know when people say hormones, usually we say run them out of that. This bit is genuinely true. Yeah. Um, so you do need a minimum amount of, of fat in your diet. Recommended is half a gram per kilo of body weight. You wouldn't drop below that. You wouldn't drop below that. Yeah. And, and that's that's probably the minimum. So you probably go a little, bit, a little bit higher than that. And again, based on your assessment week, you will know whether you prefer a higher fat or a higher carb approach. So some people would go up to a gram per kilo of body weight, which is a pretty decent amount of fat in your diet yeah. you can really be quite flexible with that amount of food the other thing about if you go slightly lower on the fat intake is you will find that you can't be as flexible with maybe the nicer foods and things like that so it does help from that point of view as well if in your assessment week you've been eating things like um, you've been cooking in oils or you've been having uh, full fat things or fatty cooks of meat those are very very easy swaps to just be able to get that fat down yeah. should you not wish to eat that amount of fat on a daily basis and, and take more calories from, from carbohydrates. Remember that fat is the most calorie from macronutrient, so it's very, very easy to cut that back in your diet. Nine. And if you cut that back in your diet, Nine. you'll find- Can you do that? that? No, you can't do that, mate. That football just got done. Yeah, he didn't I know. I didn't know. He 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 didn't know what that is. He didn't know what that is. He was calling the waiter. He was calling uh, the waiter. Excuse yeah. me, excuse me. Yeah. I'm just covering my mouth, I yeah. as well. Um, yeah, minimum amount of fat, 0.5 grams per kilo. Maximum probably you want to go to when you're dieting is probably one gram per kilo. And then we're going to carbs. Carbs. Um, yeah. You've got to go zero carb, I hear some people say. <laughs> Ridiculous. Can't Pretty do it. much impossible. Pretty much impossible. So, so what you do with your overall calories, you, let's say it's 2,000 is your overall calories. Let's say you have 200 grams of protein. That's 800 calories. 800 calories. So you've got 1,200 left. Correct. And if you then had, say, 40 grams of fat. That's 360 calories. Taken off 1,200. Oh my God, that's 840. Fuck, I'm good. That's how many calories you've got in carbohydrates which left. Is 400 and, which is 210 grams left. Fuck. There you go. Didn't even rehearse that. Not that we rehearse anything. No, ever. So there you go. That's what you would do is you would then fill up the remaining calories through carbohydrates. If you were on a bit of a stricter diet and you were a bigger deficit, you'd have less carbs. Or if you're on a slightly smaller deficit, you would then have obviously more carbohydrates. You would. You can have days where you increase those carbs and you have some days where you have low days and higher days if you so wish it's yeah. up to you to split those carbohydrates over the week 
as you see fit. So for example, if you were gonna eat out on a Friday night, you might save some carbohydrates, you might save some fats from the preceding days up to it and then use those on that on that day. Yep. Um, it probably wouldn't be what would be classed as optimal for training, um, but it's Life's probably, not optimal. It's, yeah, it's probably optimal it. for sticking to your diet. Yeah, so, because the most important thing with dieting is adherence. Yeah. That's the biggest thing. If you can, if you set your macros and you can't adhere to them, it's a waste of fucking time. You waste need to change time. them and find what you can adhere to in that overall calorie makeup. So when you're dieting and you start to reduce calories, we would pretty much say protein stays at about constant and then yeah. you would remove carbohydrates or fats, fats wouldn't really go any lower than 0.5 grams per kilo and then the rest would have to come from carbohydrates. If you enjoyed that video don't forget to like button, share it with a mate and don't forget to hit subscribe. There's plenty more of these videos coming your way very soon. Better ones probably as well. Probably.